Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about cyclic group. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about group and subgroup. Please watch the classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so first we are going to understand the definition, but it's very complex to understand the definition. With example, you are going to get clarity and we are doing multiple examples. The last example is very, very important and it helps you a lot in understanding the next higher level concepts, cryptography and network security. So that example is very, very important to understand. Now coming to the definition, a group G star means if you want to check for a cyclic group, before that you have to first, it should be a group. Then only you need to check for whether it is a cyclic group or not. A group G star is said to be cyclic. If there exist in the group, it should have, it should exist. A element A belongs to G. That element that belongs to that group such that every other element in the group X belongs to G can be written as X is equal to A power N. Every other element can be written using a power n, a power 1, a power 2, a power cube, a power 4, like that. If you can, if you are able to write that, then a is called generator. If this happens, then we say it as cyclic group. So with example, you are going to get clarity. Let's take an example, hoping that you already know the this example from our previous classes. So cube roots of unity, 1 omega omega square, and in our previous example, we showed that this three is forming a group. Again, we are not showing that uh, whether it is a group or not. Yes, it is a group with respect to multiplication operation. Yes, we showed that. Now, we already know this is a group on the multiplication operation. Now, we need to identify the generator element. Generator element means how that generator element shows. Let's try to understand that. This is very, very important. Omega is called a generator. What's the meaning of that? Omega power 1 is equal to omega. So we generated omega using omega. O omega power 2, what's that mean? Omega multiplied by omega. So apply omega two times on the binary operation. What's our binary operation? Multiplication. So omega multiplied by omega, omega square. We generated omega square using omega power a power n. This is in the form of that is what here it says. With a you are going to generate all the other elements that x belongs to g in the form of a power n. Yes, similarly omega power cube that is equal to omega multiplied by omega multiplied by omega which is omega cube is equal to omega cube means 1. So we generated all the elements omega, omega square, 1. These are the elements that present in the group. So this group is having a generator. What's the generator is? Omega. So we can call this as a cyclic group. Similarly, take the next example. This group contains set elements 1 minus 1. And the operation is multiplication. First, we need to check whether the given set and the binary operation is group or not. How we are going to check all the four properties, four conditions, closure property. Closure property means 1 multiplied by minus 1, minus 1. So minus 1 present in the group, in the set A, in the set. 1 multiplied by 1, 1, it's present in the set A. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 1, present in, which is 1, which is, belongs to set A. So every operation is giving the element that present in the set A. So it is a closure property. It is having closure property. It is satisfying closure property. Similarly, multiplication is always associated. We've done multiple examples in our previous classes. And what is the identity element here? One is the identity element for multiplication. So one multiplied by minus one, you are going to get minus one. One multiplied by one, one. And what is the inverse? You are going to get one in one inverse is 1, minus 1 inverse is minus 1. So you are going to get the inverse elements also. So now we need to identify the generator element. 
what is the generator element here minus 1 is the generator element so minus 1 power 1 which is minus 1 minus 1 power 2 so minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 1 we are going to generate both the elements minus 1 1 so we are having a generator element minus 1 so we can call this as cyclic group now coming to the next example this is very important we are having a set of elements 1 2 3 4 and the binary operation is multiplication modulo 5 what's the meaning of multiplication modulo 5 first we need to check whether it is a group or not by obtaining the four conditions what's that closure condition associative inverse and identity element yes for, for, let's try to understand the operation multiplication modulo 5 means uh, so take any two elements 1 2 1 multiplied by 2 2 mod 5 which is going to get 2 that is what multiplication modulo 5 similarly 2 multiplied by 3 6 6 mod 5 1 similarly 3 multiplied by 4 4 4 3 12 mod 5 which is 2 so you take any two elements apply the multiplication operation and then apply modulus you are going to get the elements that present in this set 1 2 3 4 so it is satisfying the closure property similarly you check the associative property it is going to satisfy we are not showing it uh, it takes a lot of time to show that you try to do it on your own because we made multiple examples in our previous class what is the identity element here one is the identity element one multiplied by two mod five which is two one multiplied by three mod five which is three multiply anything with one mod five you are going to get the same element similarly you are having inverse also one inverse is one yes one multiplied by one modulus five one for two what is the inverse three is the inverse two three is six six mod five which is one you are going to get identity element similarly four inverse is four 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 sixteen sixteen mod five one you are going to get the identity element so these are the inverse values now you need to check for the generator so is there any generator here yes two is the generator two power one two mod five two two power two two multiplied by two mod five which is four 2 cube 8 mod 5 which is 3 2 power 4 16 mod 5 which is 1 we generated all the elements 1 2 3 4 similarly we can have multiple generators no need to have only one generator we are having one more generator also here 3 is also a generator 3 power 1 3 mod 5 is equal to 3 3 square 9 mod 5 is equal to 4 3 cube 27 mod 5 is equal to 2 3 power 4 which is 81 mod 5 is equal to 1. We generated all the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we can see it as cyclic group. Hope you understand these examples what cyclic group means. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.